Okay, this is a Newton's Law problem. What we got here is a helicopter moving upwards with an acceleration of 0.5 meters per second squared. It's pulling a car with it uh, that's attached by a rope. And the question is, how much does the helicopter lift in order to make this happen? And what's the tension in this rope between the helicopter and the car? This is sort of like the ones with a box being pulled. You got a rope pulling a box, pulling another box, pulling another box. It's kind of a Newton's second and third law problem. And the way we did that was we said, just isolate any part of the diagram and F net equals MA. Because F net always equals MA. So what am I looking for? The lift in the, uh, of the whole system. So I need to draw the whole system. So I'm going to draw the helicopter and the car. I'm going to say everything in there, F net equals MA. So what do I got? Well, I have the force of gravity on the whole thing, which is the helicopter and the car. So the force of gravity for both of them. And in the up direction, I got the force of lift, which is what I'm looking for. Okay? So I have to just plug into my formula. It's accelerating up, so up is positive. So my formula is FL, because that's the one up and it's positive, minus FG, that's down, it's defined as negative, equals MA. Everything in there equals MA. So we got FL, which is what I'm looking for, minus FG. Well, how do we calculate FG? It's MG. So what's the mass? Well, we got 5,000 and 2,000. We have 7,000 times 9.8 equals, and the mass being lifted is, again, 7,000 and the acceleration is 0 0.5. So 7,000 times 9.8, 68,600. So FL minus 68,600 equals 3,500, because 7,000 times 0.5 is 3,500. I rearrange the lift on the helicopter is 7,000. 7, 72,000 newtons. Because this becomes positive at 3,500. So the lift is 7.2 times 10 to the 4 newtons. And we should say up. Okay. So we drew the whole circle on it. Because if I had only drawn a circle around the helicopter, I would have had to count for the force in this rope. If I drew this circle, it'd be the lift force up and the car pulling down on the helicopter. But because I included it in the whole thing, I looked at the whole thing as one thing, I didn't have to worry about the rope. It was an internal force. But now I want to know what's going on with the rope. So I can do it two ways. I can look at just the helicopter and say the force of lift up, which I now know, minus the force of tension down equals MA and the mass is 5,000. Or I could look at just the car. I could say we can isolate just the car and look at what it's doing. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to draw the car. The car is over here. And the diagram for that is the tension up on the car. And there's gravity on the car. But it's different gravity than this. This was the gravity of everything in this circle. This is going to be the gravity of just the ones in that circle, which is the car. And I can isolate any single item. And the formula F net equals MA still works. So we got acceleration up is positive. So FT is positive minus FG, which is negative, because up is positive, equals MA. So FT minus FG, which is 2,000 times 9.8 equals 2,000 times acceleration, which is 0 0.5. So Ft minus 2,000 times 9.8 is 19,600 equals 1,000. So Ft equals 20,600 newtons. Ft equals 2.1 times 10 to the 4 newtons. If I had done this, just the helicopter, I would have had F uh, lift up and F, 
tension down, and it would have been um, the lift was 72,000 minus the tension down equals MA, but the mass would be the 5,000. It would still work out, so you can try that. Okay?